Those who are subscribed to our channel may remember that we previously made two videos to do with McDonald's. If you're not subscribed, you should change that right now by clicking that big red button down below. Well, today, we're going to take a break from talking about the Golden Arches and instead talk about everyone's favorite southern fried chicken restaurant, KFC. More specifically, the dreaded Curse of the Colonel, an urban legend that's been around for close to 40 years. What is the Curse of the Colonel, I hear you ask? Well, our story begins in Japan in 1985. To be more precise, the city of Nishimonia in the Japanese prefecture of Hyogo. Nishinomiya is a very popular tourist destination, being located only 12 miles from the city of Osaka to the east and 10 miles from the city of Kobe to the west. But out of all the places to visit in Nishinomiya, none are more popular than the famed Koshien Stadium. Opened in 1924, the stadium was built to host professional baseball games and was, at one point in time, the largest stadium in Asia. The stadium is also home to the Hanshin Tigers, who just so happen to be the subject of this so-called curse. On Saturday, November 2, 1985, the Hanshin Tigers played what is widely regarded as their best game of all time. The Tigers had managed to win the Japan Series, the top baseball league in the country. It's basically the equivalent of winning the World Series in the U.S. They beat their opponents, the Cebu Lions, 9-3, in the last of six games played against them across a week. Many Cebu Lions fans believe this was due to the efforts of star slugger Randy Bass, an American who was playing for the team. Fun fact, Randy Bass would later go on to be the center from the state of Oklahoma in the U.S. The Tigers fan base went wild, and an enormous celebration began, which gathered at Ibisu Bridge in the nearby city of Osaka. There, a weird sort of celebration occurred. Fans of the Tigers would yell the name of one of the team's players, before another supporter would jump off the bridge and into the canal. According to the curse, the person who would jump off the bridge would share a strong resemblance to the player's name who was called out. Yet they came across a problem when trying to find a person to imitate MVP Randy Bass, as there were no Caucasian fans within the crowd. To get around the problem, the rabid crowd seized a plastic statue of Colonel Sanders from a nearby KFC and tossed it off the bridge to keep the celebrations going. And that, dear viewers, sparked the curse of the Colonel. According to the urban legend, this impulsive and idiotic decision cost the team greatly. And the curse states that the Tigers will not win the championship again until the statue is recovered from the riverbed. After their win in the 1985 series, the Tigers began a painfully long 18-year losing streak, either placing last or next to last in the league every single time. Although on rare occasions, they would put up somewhat of a fight, such as in 1992 and 1999, their hopes and dreams were swiftly squandered by their opponents. All the while, attempts were made to recover the statue from underneath the Abisu Bridge, including sending divers down and dredging the river. But despite their efforts, they all failed. Fans apologized to the store manager, but the statue remained in the canal and the tiger's curse continued to haunt them. The colonel was finally discovered in the Duttonbori River on March 10, 2009. Divers who recovered the statue at first thought it was only a large rotting barrel and shortly after a human corpse, which would have been quite worrying. But thankfully, Hanshin fans who were present when the divers pulled it from the river were quick to identify it as the upper body of the long-lost colonel. The right hand and lower body were found the next day, but the statue is still missing its glasses and left hand. But even still, the rumor started floating around that said the only way the curse can be lifted is by returning his long-lost glasses and left hand. The full statue was later recovered, with replacement of new glasses in hand, and returned to KFC Japan. As the KFC restaurant that the statue originally belonged to no longer existed, the statue was relocated to a branch nearer Koshien Stadium itself. Despite having the curse of the colonel shatter the Tigers' dreams of winning for many years now, fans still march in their thousands to see games each and every year. If anything, the curse has only led to more and more people visiting the stadium, knowing full well that the Tigers will likely lose the game they're about to watch. But that's the fun part about it. Although the Colonel's curse may initially sound threatening and scary, it's really just a harmless myth. Well, maybe not for the players who have had to endure nothing but losses for the last 40 years. Unlucky, Tigers, get them next year. Well, that was a brief summary of the curious case that surrounds the curse of the Colonel.